Russia's crude grades from the Arctic, which used to be sold in Europe before the EU embargo, are now heading east to the two biggest buyers of Russian oil since the invasion of Ukraine, China and India. Russia's grades from the Arctic Arco, Arco slash Novi port, and Verandy, have been selling at deep discounts in China and India as the EU embargo and the G7 price cap have further pushed more Russian crude to customers in Asia that have not joined the price cap coalition, according to trade data and sources cited by Reuters. All these Arctic crudes usually go to the EU but now they have to go elsewhere, a Singapore-based trader told Reuters. India imported at the end of 2022 its first cargo of Verandi crude from the Taiman Petora oil fields operated by Luke Oil, per sources, and vessel tracking data from Refinitiv. Before the Russian invasion of Ukraine, India was a small marginal buyer of Russian crude oil. After Western buyers started shunning crude from Russia, India became a top destination for Russian oil exports alongside China. Russia overtook Iraq to become the single largest oil supplier to India in November, as Indian refiners raced to stock up on Russian oil ahead of the December 5 price cap and associated bans on transportation services for Russia's crude. In China, independent refiners have seen their refining margins jump in recent weeks as they have been able to negotiate steeper discounts for their preferred Russian crude grade ESPO, even if they buy it above the G7 price cap. While China hasn't joined the price cap coalition, the fact that a price cap now exists gives the world's top crude oil importer, as well as other buyers of Russian crude such as India, more bargaining power to negotiate steep discounts for the Russian crude even outside the price cap mechanism, analysts say. Relations between China and Russia are stronger than ever. China and Russia have a long-standing and complicated relationship. In recent years, the two countries' relationship has been characterized as positive and cooperative, with both sides emphasizing their shared interests and the need to collaborate on global issues. Both countries have had a number of high-level visits and exchanges, and both have participated in a variety of economic and cultural activities. China and Russia have also collaborated on counterterrorism and regional security issues, as well as efforts to address global challenges such as climate change. However, it is important to note that the two countries' relationship is not without difficulties, and there are areas where the two sides may have opposing viewpoints or interests. China is a significant buyer of Russian oil. In 2019, China was Russia's largest oil export customer, accounting for more than a quarter of total Russian oil exports. Russia, along with Saudi Arabia, Angola, and Iran, is one of China's main sources of imported oil. China's rising demand for oil has resulted in closer economic ties between the two countries, with Russia emerging as a key supplier of energy resources to China. China and Russia will increase their gold reserves. True, China and Russia have both increased their gold reserves in recent years. Gold is widely regarded as a safe haven asset, and many countries hold it to diversify their foreign exchange reserves and protect themselves from economic and political risks. According to World Gold Council data, China has been the world's largest gold producer and consumer over the last decade. China's gold reserves have grown significantly in recent years, with its central bank adding more than 100 tons of gold to its reserves in 2020 alone. Russia has also been increasing its gold reserves, and it will be the world's fifth largest gold holder in 2020, with over 2,500 tons of gold in its reserves. Both China and Russia have stated that gold is an important part of their foreign exchange reserves and that they will continue to increase their holdings. China, Russia, and India are poised to alter the global economic landscape. China, Russia, and India are all major global players with the potential to shape the global economy in various ways. China has the world's second largest economy and is a major contributor to global growth. It is a major trading partner and a significant source of foreign investment for many countries. China has been actively working to increase its economic influence through initiatives such as the Belt and Road Initiative, which aims to connect Asian, European, and other countries through infrastructure projects. Russia has the ninth largest economy in the world and is a major energy supplier, with significant reserves of oil, natural gas, and other resources. 
It is also a member of the BRICS, Brazil, India, China, and South Africa, group of emerging economies. India has the world's fifth largest economy and a large and expanding consumer market. It has a diverse economy with a significant service sector and is a major producer of a variety of goods such as textiles, pharmaceuticals, and engineering products. These three countries, when combined, have the potential to shape the global economic landscape in a variety of ways, including trade and investment relations with other countries and participation in international economic organizations and initiatives.